Hello and welcome to 123 Copy DVD. Today we will be going through the 123 Music Rip and Replay program. This program is designed to be able to record any type of audio from the internet onto your computer. Um, as it is audio, you might want to transfer it to uh, your, your iPad, your Android tablet, um, your smartphone, be it your iPhone, Blackberry, Android. Um, and any type of podcasts um, that you want to listen to later, um, I use it to, to listen to Spanish podcasts because uh, I'm trying to learn Spanish. So what we're going to do is quickly go through a couple of the settings here. So as you can see in our settings um, options here, everything that is set up is set up by default. Um, so when in our input, it gives us the folder where it's going to store all our videos um, or all our songs that we, that we record. The splitting option, what this does is, you may have noticed on YouTube, you can download an entire album or listen to an entire album um, from YouTube, but that album may be an hour or more in length. Now, if you were to transfer that album to your smartphone to listen to while you're at the gym, going for a walk, whatever, um, that would be a large file, one single large file. And you wouldn't be able to skip songs if there's a song you didn't like or you wanted to go back to a song in the middle of the album. What this does is it automatically breaks up that album um, so you do get the individual song. So when it records, if you record that entire album using this program, it'll actually appear for you um, in the individual formats of each individual song. So that's a really good uh, handy feature. Proxy, internet stuff. And then the output um, file format, we're just going to leave that um, and most uh, average users, including myself, will just leave it as is. More advanced users may want to go in and play with these a little bit uh, more, but we're just going to leave that for today. The other options, uh, burn a CD or burn CD. So however many I've got stored in my queue here, I can actually burn directly to a disk um, just by simply pressing that button. Um, edit tracks, um, if you're recording podcasts and maybe there's a section of the podcast you don't want, that type of thing, get rid of some dead air. Uh, simply use edit tracks to, to do that. So let's um, jump over to YouTube and let's start recording a video. So I'm just going to type in, um, let's go with Beach Boys. I've had that song stuck in my head for a while. And let's go with Kokomo. So what it'll do is it'll grab uh, YouTube, will pull up my songs, and one of the other great features is um, avoiding advertisements. Now, as you can see, there's an advertisement going on right now for Lancome Paris. Um, if I started recording right now, and then the, the Kokomo song clicked in, the program will actually ignore the Lancome advertisement and go and just record only the Kokomo song that I want, which is great because you don't have to edit it itself. You don't have to edit out the, the advertisements. Um, it would just do it automatically. So let's hit start. Well, before I hit start recording, the volume. So as you can see, my volume uh, from my YouTube is about, you know, just about 50%. Now this volume will translate over to the program. So the higher the volume on YouTube or whatever website that you're using to, to um, record from, the better sound is going to come through here. If the, if the recording or the volume is low, it will be low over here. So let's just hit play. And as you can see, there's nothing displaying right here. But if I crank it up a little bit, of women dare to bear their skin. Three it's going to give me more audio from that commercial. So let's just pause it again. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go back into the recording. So when I hit start recording, it gives you options. It wants you to enter an artist, so we already know it's the Beach Boys, an album. Uh, it wants to, by default, give you um, the program name and the date, but we are going to change that to Cocktail Soundtrack from where the song was made from. Um, and that was a, an 80s movie starring a very popular, um, uh, well-known actor. Um, and then as soon as we hit OK, it'll start recording. And we're actually going to start recording during this Lancome commercial. And then we'll look at the playback and see exactly what the, the program plays back for us. So we're going to hit OK. It's going to start recording. And then we're going to our Lancome commercial. So we will actually count down the 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. Um, and by the power of editing, um, we will be back after the song. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take 
So our song has now come to an end and we will stop our recording. So then what will happen now is as it's tallying up its, um, its data information, so we, we can see here it says artist, Beach Boys, album, cocktail soundtrack, and then it automatically puts in the title uh, of the song. So it, it titled it appropriately as Kokomo. So now that we have it here, we will go ahead and play the track. Nope. Please select. Good idea. And as you can hear and see the advertisement for the video for the video was not present. So the advertisement did get removed from the song when we recorded, even though we recorded started recording during that advertisement. So as you can see, a very uh, very fun program to use, a very um, simple program to use. Um, so until next time, have a good day.